Good evening. Good evening, everybody. So sorry. Welcome to the Congregational Church of Littleton. No matter who you are or where you are in life's journey, you are welcome here. Well, tonight I'm doing Wondering Wednesday live. Oops, we're having a little trouble with my computer here. Get it working. And I'm a little late. Sorry about that. Hassan was excited about a new movie that was out we were watching. So, this evening's story is the Easter story. Sunday is Easter, so I thought this would be a great time to read this story together. So let's read the Easter story by Brian Wildsmith, and let's wonder a little bit. Once, a long time ago, a little donkey was brought to Jesus. The little donkey had never been ridden before, but Jesus spoke gently to him, and soon he stopped being afraid. Jesus climbed onto the donkey's back, and they set off for Jerusalem. There's the donkey. It's Jesus. As Jesus and his friends drew near the city, there were a great crowds standing along the road. The little donkey was amazed to see so many people. Some had spread their clothes on the road. Branches cut down from the palm trees were spread there, too, all for him to walk on. Hosanna, the people shouted. Hosanna, it's the man who comes from God. That's kind of exciting. Kind of an exciting experience for that donkey, right? Carrying Jesus on his back. People are cheering. They're so excited that Jesus is coming into Jerusalem. By the time they reached Jerusalem, the crowds had grown more excited. Some people asked, Who's that sitting on the back of the donkey? Others replied, It is the prophet Jesus from Nazareth in Galilee. The little donkey lifted his head proudly as they entered the city. Woo. We know the donkey's feeling a little proud right now because it tells us in the story. But I wonder, how would you feel if you were in the crowd? Watching Jesus come into Jerusalem on his donkey. Would you be excited? Hmm. The little donkey carried Jesus through the streets until they stopped in front of the temple. People came from all around to pray there. Jesus went inside and saw that it was like a market full of people buying and selling. Oh. Before I read, they're at a temple, right? Jesus goes inside the temple and finds out that it's like a market. I wonder, how do you think Jesus is feeling right now? A temple, do you guys know that a temple is kind of like a church, right? It's a holy place. It's a place to honor um, God. And Jesus walks in and they're treating it like a market. Let's read on and find out. Angrily, oh my gosh, he must be angry there. Angrily, he drove them all out shouting, It is written, my house shall be the house of prayer, not a den for thieves. Then every day that week, he taught and healed people in the temple. Well, we just found out he was not very happy. The donkey stayed with Jesus in the city. Thursday was a holiday, and on that night, they walked through the streets to a small house. Jesus went inside to have supper with his friends. Through the window, little donkey saw Jesus breaking the bread. Take and eat this, said Jesus, holding the bread. It is my body. And the donkey watched as Jesus lifted the cup of wine. Take and drink this, Jesus said. It is my blood. This is what happens on Thursday. Let's see what happens after they eat. After supper, the little donkey followed Jesus and his friends to the Garden of Gethsemane. Jesus said to them, Sit here and keep watch while I pray. The donkey sat and waited, but everyone else fell asleep. Suddenly, a crowd of people came into the garden. They were led by Judas, one of Jesus' friends. And they seized Jesus and dragged him away. Judas had betrayed his friend. The rest, the rest of Jesus' friends ran away. The little donkey and Simon Peter didn't run away, but followed the crowd through the city. 
three times Simon Peter was stopped. You are a friend of Jesus, people said. Simon Peter was afraid. No, he said, not I. So now, stop for a second and think about this. Jesus has been grabbed by soldiers and he was betrayed by Judas and he's being taken away. How do you think he's feeling right now? To be betrayed by his friend and be taken away? To find out what's going to happen to him? And his friends are scared, so they run, right? But Simon Peter stays. However, when people ask him, right there, this is your friend of Jesus, Simon Peter says, no, not I. I wonder why he said that. He was Jesus' friend. At last they came to a house of Caphias, the high priest of the temple. The donkey heard Caphias ask Jesus, Are you the Son of God? I am, Jesus replied. The high priest said, You have heard these terrible words. How can any man speak this way of God? What do you say? He deserves to die, everyone cried. The crowd left Caphias' house and took Jesus to Pilate, the Roman governor to see that he was punished. Uh oh. So now Jesus, because he says that he's the son of God, right? Because he says, I am. And the high priest is like, uh-uh, no way. This is a crime. We take him off to Pilate. Oh boy. The little donkey washed as Jesus stood, Jesus stood in front of Pilate, the chief priest for the temple and a huge crowd of people. Are you the king of the Jews? asked Pilate. Those are your words, said Jesus. The priests then accused Jesus of many things. Have you no answer to have you no answer to make to them? asked Pilate. But Jesus didn't answer. What shall I do with him? Pilate asked the crowd. Crucify him, everyone shouted. Take him and crucify him, then, said Pilate. I wash my hands of him. Oh wow. So now, you're going to crucify Jesus. Hmm. I wonder how he's feeling now. Probably not very good. Maybe a little scared. So the soldiers took Jesus away. They put a crown made of thorns on his head and made fun of him. Hail, King of the Jews, they said. They gave him a huge cross of wood and forced him to carry it. If only I could help him, thought the donkey sadly. But a man came out of the crowd and helped Jesus to carry his cross. I also wonder, I almost forgot about the donkey for a second. The donkey has been part of this journey this whole time. I wonder how the donkey is feeling. Because if you read the beginning, I think donkey thought of Jesus as a friend. And I wonder what donkey's feeling watching his friend go through this. A little don the little donkey followed as they led Jesus to a hill outside the city. There they crucified him between two thieves. Late that night, a rich man named Joseph asked Pilate for the body of Jesus. He wrapped the body in clean linen sheet. It was too heavy for him to carry. Joseph placed the body of Jesus on the donkey's back, and the little donkey carried it to, the new to a new tomb, which had been cut out of a rock. Joseph laid the body inside and rolled a huge stone in front of the entrance. Now he's laying Jesus to rest in the tomb. Let's see what happens next. Early Sunday morning, Mary, the mother of Jesus, and Mary Magdalene came to the tomb. But when they got there, they found that the stone had been rolled away and the body of Jesus was gone wonder how Mary and Mary were feeling when they found that out. And the donkey, right? Because it looks like the donkey's there as well. But read this. The donkey saw two angels where Jesus' body had been. He is not here, the angel said. He is alive again. Huh. I wonder how they're feeling. Being told that Jesus is alive. Mary and Mary Magdalene left the tomb, and the donkey followed until they came to a garden. A man was standing there. It was Jesus. 
The women were frightened, but Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Run and tell my friends to go up to Galilee, and they will see me there. So now they're going to run and tell all his friends. Jesus' friends were so happy to see him again. He stayed with them for 40 days, teaching them about the kingdom of God. But Jesus knew that it was never the time that it was near time for him to leave this earth. One morning he went up to his father in heaven. The next day, one of Jesus' friends took the little donkey back to his home. And the donkey stayed there for the rest of his life, remembering the kind and good man he had carried on his back to Jerusalem. And that is the end of our story. The Easter story. The story starting, if you notice, the story started on entering Jerusalem, which is Palm Sunday, which is the Sunday that just passed. It talked about the temple and him throwing everybody out of the temple, right? That happened early in the week. And on Thursday for this Passover dinner, right? And the day that he would, that was also the night he was betrayed. And then Good Friday when he was crucified. And then Easter Sunday when he came back to life. I love the story. It has such beautiful pictures in it, right? The shiny gold paper. And I don't know if you noticed this. But one thing I notice on every single page, it's hard to see sometimes, but this is the first page. Look right here in the trees. Who was with Jesus the whole time? Let's see, somewhere on this page. I know it's here, I just can't find it. Maybe you can. Here. I'm going to keep turning. Oh, on the donkey's back on this page. But on every page, there is an angel. An angel watching over Jesus and the donkey and Jesus' friends on every page. See, so look. And here. When Jesus was crucified, there are many angels. Many angels watching over Jesus to tell that Jesus is alive again, right? Then we come back to one angel watching. And then here's Jesus, right? And there's an angel right here. There's more than one angel in this picture. Throughout the whole story, there are angels watching over Jesus and the donkey and everybody. So, story of Easter. I hope that you guys all have a wonderful Easter on Sunday and enjoy it. The next few Wondering Wednesdays, I have a book. It's called Letter... It's, I, Notes from a friend, I think, or notes from Jesus of your best friend. I can't remember exactly what the name of the book is right now off the top of my head, but we are going to read parts of that book on different Wondering Wednesday, a different letter each Wednesday. Because Jesus is our best friend, right? All right, everybody. I hope you guys all have a wonderful evening and a great Easter. And I'll see you guys all um, next Wednesday. Good night.